Hey y'all, welcome to the Southern Lady Garden. Today, I wanna to talk about one of my favorite topics and one of the most misunderstood topics. And I think it's because we as women just, we try to avoid those things that seem embarrassing or too masculine or things that are not stereotypically pretty. We just don't talk about it and we should. We should actually all be putting an effort into normalizing some of these things. But that being said, I'm gonna move into today's topic, which is random body hairs. And <laughs> so I have 10 years of experience with sugaring and I've probably seen almost every hair type that there is on every age that there is. And I've learned a lot about the fact that random hairs are super normal. And little like 20 year olds, if you don't have any right now, just know that they're coming for you. You're the exception, not the rule. Every woman that I've ever broached this subject with has at least one, usually on her chin. And they just multiply as you get older for most people. So. I wanted to tell you that's normal. I mean, I would say, I would dare to say that 100% of the people that I know over 25 have a hair that they consistently look out for. So that is normal. Now, I did wanna to talk to you about how hormones can change your hair growth. When you get older, and as, as I say older, I actually mean, you know, when you turn 20, when you turn 30, you're going through second puberty, third puberty, fourth puberty. I feel like it's every decade until you die. And then when you're dead, I mean, all of your hair is gone. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, all of these things cause a lot of changes in your body hair. And these changes are awkward and really annoying. And you feel like you're the only one going through them when you're going through them. But actually coming from an esthetician who has seen more vulvas than I even know how to count, I know that the older you get, your bikini line consistently starts moving down your leg. So you can expect that. That is a normal thing. Bikini line is not just these little tiny hairs that are poking out of what would be your bikini bottoms or your underwear. Your bikini line is going to increase uh, in its size and definition as you age. Again, totally normal. It is not just because you're hairy. It's not because of anything else other than hormone changes. As we get older, of course, we as women know that our estrogen drops and our testosterone raises. And while that has a lot of benefits in our life, more testosterone also equals more hair. Now, another thing that people think is weird is nipple hairs but we literally have nipples on our menu of services because it is super common to have hairs around your nipples. And some people have a couple little soft fine ones, some people have coarse black curly ones, and that's normal too. It's, it is hormones and that is a hormonal area of our bodies. Uh, let's see, another thing that's super important for us all to know, men or women, is that a hairy mole is a healthy mole. And as weird as that sounds, it is something we're taught in aesthetic school so that we know just little pieces of how to identify if something is wrong. So if you have a mole that is usually hairy that stops growing hair, don't just like praise the hair gods for <laughs> your mole just losing its hair. Um, see a dermatologist. It's, it is an important thing to understand that a melanoma will kill the hair follicle. So hair can't grow out of a mole with melanoma. Uh, now, hair aside, I also wanted to address something that can be caused by adjusting your hormones. And that can be with birth control or with medications that adjust your hormones when you're going through menopause. So what can happen when you increase your estrogen 
drastically in an area. And I've seen this quite a few times with people who are on hormone replacement uh, medication or Nuvering of all things, but it can thin the skin down there, which can create some discomfort, some rawness. You know, when I'm sugaring, I will always say, you know, your skin looks a little raw, it looks a little red. Have you changed anything in, you know, your birth control, your medication? So if you're experiencing that and it is causing you frustration or discomfort, you can talk to your doctor about it because that is a normal thing that can be caused by the increase of estrogen to the area. Uh, hormones are great, aren't they? Just a beautiful part of being a woman. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I just love PMS and I love having to remember to take my birth control and it's, it's great. But if we can talk about all of these wonderful, wonderful things and start destigmatizing them, it's going to get a lot easier for us to move forward and just feel comfortable in our own skin. So if you have any questions about what I just talked about, or if you want to ask me anything else, we love reading your questions. We love answering your questions. The more awkward, the better. And yeah we have a few ways that you can reach out we'll put that in the description um like i said in an earlier episode i used a link to our new website where you can ask your question anonymously with a super funny name that you make up uh don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends on social media you know they need to hear all this info and we'll see you next week